Hey guys, what's going on? It's uh, Kaiga1524. Up here today. Finally, I've got round to doing uh, part two of my Xbox One collection. And it's these are all my digital games. Um, sorry about the mic. I, it's been playing up recently. Um, it's been a while since I've done a capture card gameplay. Well, not gameplay, but using my capture card. So, um, this is not going to be an overly long video. I'm just going to go through the games, uh, tell you what I've got, and uh, maybe tell you a little bit about them and stuff like that. I'm wondering how I get most of my digital games. Um, Mostly, I'll either get them through games with gold, we get four games a month. Uh, if you have Xbox Live Gold, which so you'll get two Xbox 360 and two Xbox One games. Um, also, the backwards compatibility program I use as well, so you'll see a lot of Xbox 360 games on here. And um, another thing that I do, what? Really? Well, I can eat it and do it. Um, another way I get my games is Game Share. I'll do Game Share with one of my mates, and any games that he gets digital, I'll get, and vice versa. It's a good way of, you know, sharing games, and you can sort of uh, save some money as well on doing it, so you don't have to go out and buy, you know, if you you know your friend's going to play a game, so for example, if you want, you know the new Battlefield or whatever, and to get it digital, work it out. Really? Right. No, I thought my capture card was playing up. This laptop's a bit shit, so. And uh, this mic is um, doing no justice either. And another way I get a lot of my games is uh, the Game Pass. I've already talked a lot about the Game Pass. So, yeah. Anyway, I'm going to go through it now. We'll start off with Agents of Mayhem. I've already talked a little bit about this game in part one of this video. Um, could have been a lot better. It's an okay game. Army of Two. Classic on the Xbox 360. Good co-op game. Um, this game's free at the moment, so if you don't have it, um, it is it's flawed by today's standards. But at the time, it was a pretty good co-op game, and it's an alright game to have if you want to do a co-op game. And then of course we have Assassin's Creed, a classic if there ever was one. Uh, it's where it all began. And, um, you know, Assassin's Creed's a franchise now, but the original game was something unique for its time. I, I like to think Assassin's Creed is a Prince of Persia um, spiritual successor, almost. And then we have Assassin's Creed 2. Um, much better than the first game, there's no doubt about that. Some people stand by saying Assassin's Creed 2 is the best Assassin's Creed game on the Xbox 360. Um, I might have to agree there, but I'll tell you what my favourite Assassin's Creed was. And then, of course, Assassin's Creed Rogue, which is an exclusive for that, um, the Xbox 360, and I believe PS3 as well. Haven't played this one, but it's a bit, um, it was surprising because this game never came out on the Xbox One, but this game came out, I believe, after Assassin's Creed 4. So, it's a game I haven't played, but I'll have to give it a go. And then, I also uh, sort my games by letter. Then we have Back to the Future, the game. It's a Telltale game, so it's sort of a graphic novel almost, um, where the gameplay is, you know, it's an adventure game based on the Back to the Future uh, movies. I guess it's sort of, um, I think it's based on all three game, uh, movies combined into a, a game. I haven't played it, but I hear it's a pretty good one. And then we have the Banjo-Kazooie games, Nuts and Bolts. 
the original and Banjo Tooie. Um, I got these in the rare replay, but they're also in the game pass as well. Um, Nuts and Bolts is a pretty cool creative game. You can create some pretty cool and you know over the top sort of miracles. Um, it's much more different than the traditional platforming games, and uh, they're classics on the N64. So it's nice to have a um, almost a HD remake or something of the originals. Um, they're classic, so you can't hate on them. But I never grew up with an N64, so I don't really have a lot of nostalgia for them. But they're classics. And then we have Batman: The Telltale Series Season Two. Um, I haven't played the first season, so I might have to get the before I play this. But I hear these are again, it's you know a Telltale's game, so it's not like Batman Arkham where you're just fighting loads and loads of enemies. It's more slower and focused on story. But if you're into Batman story-based games, it's a pretty good one to hear. And we have Battle Block Theater, a pretty cool um, platformer game. It's pretty fun, good to play with friends. Um, can get quite intense at times, but it's a funny little game. Uh, Battleborn, uh, kind of disappointing to know that this game could have been a lot better. It's a good game, but it didn't have the right. Um, back end so to say you know and I've already talked a little bit about this game in my Battleborn gameplay um, but unfortunately not many people are playing it now but if you can find some people to play it with it's not a bad game let me have a Battlefield 3 never really have a lot of love for the Battlefield series but they're cheap games you can pick them up for a couple of quid now so even if you just want to do the campaign and maybe get some achievement, you know. But they're, you know, they're they're a, a, a you know a, a franchise of their own. And then we have the much loved Bad Company Two, and um, the third one is in development, so will be coming out sometime this year. So a lot of people are really really looking forward to that. And then we have Battlefield One. Um, I got this through EA Access. That's another subscription based thing that I use. Um, very good game, very good multiplayer game, but I don't play it a lot, if you know what I mean. Um, you know, just because I'm not overly keen on a lot of multiplayer games. Let me have Bayonetta, um, a very, very good hack and slash game. Very good art style, and it's kind of a disappointment that the second and the third one is on the Nintendo now, so, well... Well, the third one is in development, so it's kind of disappointing that only the first game was on the Xbox and the PS3. Um, it would have been great if we got the second one on the Xbox One. Then we have Bioshock, a classic if there ever was one. This game is fantastic. Um, all three Bioshock games are very good games, and if you don't want to play the original, you can get the collection which comes with all of the DLC and, of course, a remastered. Then we have Dragon, this is an early um, sort of Japanese style RPG, Final Fantasy style game. Um, I believe it's also on the, there's also a version on the DS. Um, and I believe there's another one somewhere, well, I don't know, I don't know a lot about the game. But it's an okay turn based uh, Japanese RPG, pretty big game again, I think it's got three discs. Um, but I'm not overly keen on uh, turn-based RPGs. Then we have the original Borderlands. Very good game. I love this game. Um, it's quite different to the second game. I always recommend playing the second game to comers to the series. And then maybe if you're, you know, if you want to play the first one, come back to the first one. Just because it's slightly different. Yeah, Bully Scholarship Edition. Grand Theft Auto in a school. A very, very good game. Um, by today's standards, graphically, it's a little bit outdated, but it's a very good game nonetheless. Very unique. And it's a remake of the original Canon edit on the PS2. 
And then we have some Call of Duty games. We have Black Ops 3. Uh, I've already talked about the Call of Duty games. just And of course, Advanced Warfare. The original Black Ops, which is actually the last Call of Duty that I really enjoyed, to be honest. Infinite Warfare, which we all know the story behind that. Uh, thank you. Modern Warfare Remastered. Um, a good remaster. Um, of course, a lot of people brought Infinite Warfare to get Modern Warfare. Remastered, and it's a good remaster. But, you know, there's, there's not, it's not like, um, compared to the newer Call of Duty, there's not loads to it. And then we have Call of Duty World War Two. Um, I did enjoy this game, the campaign's pretty good, but to be honest, to be honest, I, I just, I just don't play Call of Duty. You know, don't get me wrong, this is a very good game, but I just don't yeah. play it. Then we have Cars 2, the video game. Um, the Cars games are surprisingly fun racing games, and the second one is a little bit more. Despite um, the movie being um, nowhere near as good as the original, it's, it's still a fun racing game. I've played a little bit on the Wii. Then we have Castle Crashers Remastered. This is a fantastic game. I recommend playing this game. It's great to play with co-op. You can play split, you know, um, locally or online. Very fun game. Lots of replay value. So, very good hack and slash game. Then we have Castles. I don't really know a lot about this game. Um, I just got it because it was like a couple of quid. And that's another way I get games. Is I get a games when they're on sale as well so i got this for like a pound so from what i hear it's a puzzle game so it might be a little fun game cell damage hd now this game i was very very surprised to see that they brought out on the um i love cell damage i think it's one of my favorite ps2 games But the HD version, again, it's just essentially just an updated graphic. But one thing I will say is that this one seems to have a little bit more glitches, I find, than the original. Um, just not, not game crashing glitches, just a few little glitches here and there. But if you are a fan of the original and you want to play on a HD TV with the best looking graphics, it's definitely worth getting. Then we have another um, game called Child of Eden. This is originally a Kinect. Well, it's, you can use the Kinect uh, on the 360 for this. Um, it's kind of like um, if you played Res on the PS2. It's an on-rail shooter. Very beautiful looking game. Very lots of like colors and stuff but i wouldn't recommend it if you have epilepsy or something like that which is why i probably won't do a gameplay video on it just because i don't want to get <laughs> cause anyone who does have epilepsy but it's a it's it's one of them games that if you play it with a controller you're going to get minimal enjoyment from but if you play it with connect i hear it's a pretty good um game And obviously, the Xbox One doesn't support Xbox 360 Connect, and uh, well, the Connect is pretty much dead. Um, is it worth getting a Connect? No, there's nowhere near enough good Connect games on the Xbox One. Uh, the Xbox One X doesn't support Connect; it's been discontinued. Um, the adapter for the Xbox One S, which is what I use, is very hard to find. So unless you have the original Xbox One, which I do have, it's not worth having a Connect because most of the features you can do with the, the Xbox One Connect, um, you can now do just by using a headset like the voice commands and stuff. 
you know, like Cortana and stuff like that. But, you know, the Connect has its, um, I'll have to do a video on the Connect and stuff like that. Then we have Black Ops 2, very loved game, one of the most um, sought after backwards compatible titles. This was the most requested backwards compatible game and they finally did it. Um, but I don't have that much love for this game. If if you don't agree with me, I'm sorry, but I just didn't really. I, I enjoyed the campaign, the zombies is fun, but I just didn't really play a lot of this game. Uh, then we have Comet Jumper. This is an interesting sort of mix between platforming, on-rail shooter, side-scrolling. It's an interesting game, but flawed. Quite funny, though. Um, then we have Costume Quest 2. A very child-friendly sort of RPG, turn-based RPG. It's kind of interesting. but it's very child friendly but it's interesting because you get these costumes and then when you do back you get um you know like if you have a superhero costume you'll become a giant superhero and stuff like that it's interesting but it's nothing special and then we have the very very loved dark souls game and um, the original was being remastered, which a lot of people are very happy about. Um, my older brother's a big fan of this game, of these games. I played a little bit of it, but I'm gonna, I'm not gonna lie. These games will fucking kick your ass and don't give and steal your lunch money, and they won't give a shit. Let me have Dark Siders. Um, I played a little bit of the second one, but I haven't played the first one, so I can't really tell you about it. Well, I can get rid of that shitty Dead Alliance, because I don't have that game anymore. Then we have Diplob 2. Very, I've already done a gameplay video on this, so if you want to know my opinions on the game, check out the gameplay video, but it's a very, um, very relaxing game, actually. Then we have Dead Effect 2. Um, this is a, I believe, originally a mobile game. I'm not sure. I think it was a mobile game or something like that. But it's an okay sort of first-person space shooter. Have to put more time into it. And then we have Dead Island Definitive Edition. I've already done a video of this game uh, did quite a few videos I think I've got to like 18 or so but I keep on here just in case ever um, my mate wants to play do a playthrough with I, I do enjoy the Dead Island games same with then we have Dead Rising 3 um, it's a good game but it's a good game. I I've, I've did a full co-op playthrough with my mate Ryan. The reason I still have it on here is because the only thing I haven't done on this game is the sort of hyper mega arcade Capcom remix or whatever it's called. Which I, you know, I keep on here just in case I ever do want to try that out. Then we have Dead Rising 4. Um, a very disappointing game to some, but it's okay, it's fun, but um, I wouldn't go out and say it's worth going out and buying this game and have to play it. If you're a fan of the Dead Rising series, then yeah, which is why I, um, which is why I played it. But other than that, it changed too much. It really did. Sorry, I've been eating a cheese toasty. I'm hungry. Um, it's finished now. Then we have 
Demon Crystals, which is um, almost like an indie game. It's it's pretty bad, but it's it, it provides a little bit of enjoyment. Again, I got this game for a couple of quid, so I'll take a chance on something that's only a couple of quid. Devil May Cry 4 Special Edition. Um, I'm a big fan of the original Devil May Cry series. I wasn't overly keen on the original Devil May Cry 4, but the special editions in the Game Pass and, uh, you know, you get all your DLC and stuff in here, so it's worth playing. Oh. Where's the TV, mate? Um, but yeah, you know, Devil May Cry is a classic um, series. Um, be interesting to see if they bring out a new one. Of course, Dishonored 2. Um, got this game yesterday. Can't really tell you much about it. I might play it at some point. Uh, Disney Infinity 3.0. The only reason I got this game because I like having the uh, Star Wars figures. Um, but it's an okay game. It's a very good game for kids. Um, and um, there's so much to it, so it's worth having if you have kids. <laughs> and then we have Doodle God Ultimate Edition again. Oh. Let me have Doodle God Ultimate Edition. Um, I believe this was originally like a Flash game, and then it came out on mobile. Essentially, all it is is you have like items, and you have to combine them with other items to make other items. Like you combine like fire with ice to make like fire ice, and then zombies with like cats to make zombie cats. It's in. It's kind of fun. <laughs> it's. I'm not doing a good job of explaining it. I might do a video on it one day. We have Dragon Ball Xenoverse. Um, I haven't played this or the second one, but um, I hear it's a very good game. And obviously, I do like Dragon Ball Z. Um, but I have to give this game a go because I know you can play this game without playing online. And we have Earth Defense Force Insect Armageddon. Um, if you're a fan of games where you just want to go around killing loads and loads of enemies this is definitely for you um i played this game a little bit um i do enjoy this game but it does get very redundant very fast then we have eat lead um this is sort of just a it's a generic third person shooter but it's very um breaks the fourth wall a lot and stuff like that um, Escape Dead Island, um, an interesting concept, a third person stealth based Dead Island game, but it didn't really uh, catch on. Evolve, why I have this game, I got this game for free, this was basically 5 versus 1 I believe, like one person plays as a giant monster, the others play as the hunters and they have to hunt the monster. Um, I don't know if people are still playing this game, but I know there's a second one out. Of course, Fallout 4. Everyone loves Fallout. Um, very good game. And uh, obviously, I don't have any of the DLC. At least I don't think. Let me just check. No, I don't. Um, but you can get the Game of the Year edition now, which I'm kind of pissed off that I, you know, I didn't get. So I might just get rid of the normal version and get the game of the year edition. Uh, Fallout Shelter, another game that was originally a mobile game. Fallout New Vegas. So I actually prefer Fallout New Vegas to Fallout 3, which a lot of people might not agree with, but I really do. Far 3, in my opinion, the best Far Cry game out of all of them, just because the, the villain um, Oh, I can't remember his name. Re not Raz or what was his name? Ah, oh, I can't remember his name. The guy in the picture. I forgot his name. But he's he's he makes the game. He does make the game. Uh, we got here Final Fight, Double Impact, Final Fight, classic game here. Fortnite, obviously. Um, it says Battle Royale on there, but I have the original, the main zombie survival game, as well as the Battle Royale and the battle royale is free to play um, but the normal for fortnite isn't um i don't really like the normal game battle royale is pretty fun though don't play it a lot though uh then we have forza motorsport 5 um you know 
I don't really, I don't think I've really played this, but I play yeah. racing games every now and then. Uh, front lines, fuel of war. Um, this is a sort of almost a battlefield clone. It's so-so. Uh, Galaga Legions DX. This is a um, very <laughs> top Galaga uh, remake, almost. Just tons and tons of enemies. Huh. We have Gears of War 3 and 4. Um, Gears of War 3 is actually, in my opinion, better than Gears of War 4. Um, I do like both games, but I play Gears of War 3 more than 4. Then we have Gianna Sisters Twisted Dreams. Um, this is an interesting platform in multiple, like, you can switch between, like, Dark Realm and the Light Realm or something like that. Um, then we have Gone Home Console Edition. I have no idea what this game is. I think it's a adventure game. Then we have Grand Theft Auto 5. What can you say about Grand Theft Auto 5 other than just wow? <laughs> the online it has so much to it now. It's kind of annoying that they didn't really add a lot of on, um, haven't added any single player DLC. But GTA 6 is in development, and from what I hear, they want to recreate the whole of the USA as the map. So if they do that, that will be amazing. And then we have Grand Theft Auto 4 episodes from Liberty City. I've never played this, so I have to give them a go. Grow up. Um, I think it's a platforming game. Don't know a lot about it. Grand Theft Auto 4. In my opinion, Grand Theft Auto 4 is underrated. A lot of people hate on this game, but I love it. I've never finished it though. The only Grand Theft Auto game I've ever finished is Grand Theft Auto 5. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Guitar Hero Live, um, I got this game for £30 with two guitars and an extra 500 songs for Christmas a couple of months, uh, not last year, the year before. I still haven't played it yet though, so, um, but I keep it just because it's one of them games that's good to play with a, a party game. Halo 5 Guardians, very good game. Um, some people didn't like it, but I think it's very good. Spartan Assault, originally a mobile game, and then they re-released it on the console. Pretty good top-down shooter. Um, Hand of the Gods, I don't know a lot about this game. I believe it's a card game based on Smite. Heavy Weapon, I believe this is a run and gun kind of game. Hydro Thunder, Hurricane. I love Hydro Thunder on the PS1. I had it as a kid. A very good boat racing game. And then we have Injustice 1 and 2. Both, in my opinion, well, I haven't played the second one yet, so I might play that today. I don't know. But the first one I really enjoyed. Um, the second one I hear is almost even better. <laughs> then we have Jetpack Refueled, which is a remake of, I believe, originally a. Not an Amiga game, a spec. Just Cause 3. Um, I've just I started this game the other day, and to be honest, it's one of them games that just go around and cause chaos. And uh, the Just Cause series is pretty underrated, but number three, probably. Uh, Mio, um, a launch title for the Xbox 360. It's not that great, to be honest. <laughs> It's so so. Um, another game that I got really cheap called Kill All Zombies. Uh, I believe it's sort of like a indie game, top down zombie sub game. Uh, Killer Instinct 2 Classic, of course, very good fighting series on the arcade. Uh, LA Cops. This is sort of like Hot Hot Hotline Miami. If you like Hotline Miami on PC, it's very similar to that. Very Hard, but very satisfying. And then we have Laura Croft and the Temple of Osiris. Very good um, co-op game. Layers of Fear, a horror game. I might have to do a horror game video one day. And I believe this is a pretty good psychological horror. And then of course we have Left 4 Dead 1 and 2, in my opinion. Some of the funnest co-op games great replay value just be I'll have to do a video on them uh, Lego Star Wars the complete saga 
Um, I don't think and it's a, I think this is the second best Lego game of all time. Um, I don't know what this game is, but I think it's a card game. It's free to play. Um, of course, we have Mafia 3, which I got yesterday. Haven't played it yet, so I can't tell you what I think of it. Marlow Briggs. Um, this was free last month. I believe it's a sort of action game. It looks quite generic. Marvel Heroes Omega, which I believe this game's being taken off the Xbox, which is kind of disappointing. And then we have Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes and Phantom Pain. Little story is, um, I bought the Metal Gear Solid 5 yesterday, and when I went to install it about an hour ago, I noticed it was the definitive edition, so I got all this DLC. Just paid for the normal game, but I got the definitive edition. Uh, Metal Gear Survive Beta. I know some people are going to hate me for this. I think this game is going to be really good. I played the beta and it's pretty fun. It's a great co-op game. Uh, Metal Slug 3 and Double X. Metal Slug can't really say much more than classic, fun, awesome. Of course, got to have Minecraft. Um, I know they have just released the 4K edition, but I don't want to get the 4K edition because I don't really have... 4K TV on Xbox One to support the updates and plus it's fucking you know it's Lego looking kind of well it's pixels and blocks what what you know for a game like you know Metal Gear Solid 5 you know that's the sort of game that's worth getting on Xbox One X because of you know but Minecraft definitely not uh, Never Winter uh, MMORPG a uh, pretty good one actually a game that I need to put more time into. Uh, Knights and Dreams, originally on the Sega Saturn. It's a, I believe it's a, a platforming flying game. Uh, Ninja Gaiden Black, classic, original Xbox. Yep, you're not wrong there. The original Xbox games are backwards compatible. Oh, but I think there's only 15 or so at the moment. Then we have Outlast. Um, what can be said about Outlast, but fucking scary um, I believe the second one is even scarier if that's possible <laughs> of course Overwatch probably my most played game at the moment I play this game nearly every day to be honest every night Oxton Free I don't know what this game is but it looks interesting uh, Pac-Man Museum it just comes with a bunch of Pac-Man games what can you say about Pac-Man other than you know, def defining game for the generation and one of the best games of all time. Paladins, it is an Overwatch clone, yes, but it offers a little bit more than Overwatch in my opinion. Path of Exile, I played this game for a little bit, I can't get into it to be honest. Perfect Dark, originally N64, and Perfect Dark Zero, which is actually a good sequel. Phantom Dust, I don't know a lot about this game, but I believe it was on the original Xbox. Uh, pinball, FX3, this is, these are three pinball games, but obviously you have to buy the individual tables. So, But I love pinball, what, what can be said about pinball other than, pinball's awesome. Portal 2, two um, I might ask Ryan if he wants to play this that game at some point actually, because this is a fantastic co-op game. It's a first person shooter, but it's also a platforming puzzle game. What can be said about Portal, but other than fantastic? And the second game, I believe, is one of the best co op games out there. Project Cars, the game that actually got me back into racing games, believe it or not. I love this game, I really do. I might have to play it again some more. But I'm kind of annoyed because I had to do a race that lasts two hours, so. I can maybe change it to make it last half an hour, but still, I, I don't want to just sit there doing it for half an hour. Uh, Rare Replay, one of the best um, collections you can get on the Xbox 1. Uh, Rayman 3 HD, never played Rayman 3, so I don't really have a lot of nostalgia for it. Rayman Legends, really good co-op game actually. Um, good game to get a couple of friends to play it with, such a fun game. Uh, Recore Definitive Edition, um, never played Recore, but I hear it's 
um, so so. Some people like it, some don't. Red Faction Armageddon. I like this game. It's not over Gorilla, but it's, it's still a um, pretty fun uh, first per third person shooter. Resident Evil 6. Um, yes, that does look like a giraffe giving someone a blowjob, or someone giving a draft a blowjob. Um, but I actually like Resident Evil 6. I don't care what anyone says. I love playing it. It's a good co op game. Um, one of the funniest things I did was uh, I played it with Ryan, not this one on the Xbox 360. Uh, there's a part where you have to hold the spikes to start, you know, so he can get past. And then I decided to let go and he got impaled and then he got a bit raged. Resident Evil Revelations. Um, it's an alright Resident Evil game. But it does have some uh, cool mode called, I think, Raid Mode. Which is sort of like um, a time-based thing, survival almost. Roblox. Um, I used to play this game at the time on the PC, so I was very happy to see it on the Xbox One. I play it every now and then. Uh, Ruby Grim Eclipse. Never watched the anime. Might have to watch it one day. This is again a game through Game Share. The game is sort of okay. It's okay. All right, hack and slash game, but it doesn't. I believe it's sort of an indie title, so if this game had the right backing, it would have been much better. Rise Son of Rome, um, very good game, very good launch title, but should have been longer. Um, Shadow Warrior, very good game, and the second one is even better. Um, just to think, Shadow Warrior is going to be free next month. And I believe we get Shadow Warrior, um, Assassin's Creed Chronicles India, which is good because I, I don't have that one. Uh, and I believe we on the Xbox 360, ah, uh, what was it? Oh, I can't fucking remember now. But it, Oh, Split Second and Crazy Taxi. So three games next month that I actually don't have. Um, Shantae's and the Pirate's Curse, I've done a video on this, it's an okay game. Skyforce Anniversary, really good um, co-op vertical shooter. Skyforge, I haven't played this yet. It's another free-to-play MMORPG. Skyrim Special Edition, fantastic. What can be said about Skyrim other than Masterpiece? <laughs> uh, Sleeping Dogs Definitive Edition. Um, this is one of them games that even though I've completed it two times already... I still want to go back and play it again and play through it all again. It's just that good. Plus, I love like you know Jackie Chan and Bruce Lee movies, and it does remind me of them. Uh, Slime Rancher, um, interesting game, I hear. Sonic Mania. This is a great game for if you're a fan of the original Sonic the Hedgehog games. Soul Calibur 2. Um, Fantastic game. Uh, the South Park games, Fractured But Whole and The Stick of Truth. I love the South Park games and the show, but both games are really good. Speedrunners, very fun game. Very fun game to play with friends. And then we have Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. Classic, one of the reasons why um, the original Xbox backwards compatibility is worth it now. Uh, before Shenley's 2, um, it's a good game, but it's over before, you you know, it's a very short game. Then we have Star Wars Battlefront 1 and 2. Um, I do play ba Battlefront 2 every now and then, but, you know, obviously I have to have it because it's Star Wars. Stardew Valley, it's a um, Harvest Moon, almost clone. I've played a little bit of it, but I've got to be in the mood to play it. Then we have the incredible he adventures of Van Helsing 1, 2 and 3. We got 1 and 3 for free, but I brought the second one just so I can have all three. I believe they're like Diablo style games, so I might play it actually. Then we have The Sims 4. I actually like this. Very good um, thing. Wait, what? South Park The Stick of Truth, Xbox 360, South Park The Stick of Truth. Normal. Uh, 
Oh, right. Well, that's uh, why well, I can uninstall that. Um, what's going on here? Then we have the Turing test or Turing test. Um, I don't know a lot about it. I think it's an adventure game. Dead. Wait. Oh yeah, The Walking Dead season two. I haven't actually. I've only played a little bit of the first one. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Rainbow Six Siege. Very good game, but I'm shit at it, so I'll have to put more time into it. The Division. Still haven't started it. Tomb Raider Underworld. Torment not Tides of Numera, which is a game that I've got for like three pounds. Um, I believe it's a very a remake of it or a sequel to the an old PC game. A uh, Track Mania, pretty fun racing game. Trials Fusion, very fun game. Uh, we got here Trove, which is like Minecraft meets MMORPG. So ultra ultra, which I believe is uh, um, this is a fun game actually. It's a pretty fun game if you've got half an hour or so to play. You can just you know top down shooter. The Viva Pinata games. I love the Viva Pinata games. They're such relaxing games. Uh, Warframe, um, very good free to play game. It's definitely worth having if you have money. <laughs> Warhammer Vermintide, this is basically Left 4 Dead 3, but based in Warhammer Universe, and I do like it, but it, you know, I know there's a sequel being made, so I'm looking forward to that. Of course, what is Orochi 3 Ultimate? Quick question, I've done all the missions, and I've got like the true ending, but I still don't know how to unlock Orochi Orochi X, and there's another character whose name I don't know. I think his name's Kibi. Um, so if anyone knows how to unlock them in the story mode, not gauntlet mode, let me know in the comments below. Wolfenstein 2, The New Colossus. I enjoyed this game, but the ending was very disappointing. I won't give it away. Worms Battleground, I love Worms. Such a fun game great co-op get a great uh, party game WWE 2k18 I had to get this game because I'm a wrestling fan I I think this is one of the this is a very good game but it has a lot of flaws I might have to do a video on it and then we have zoo tycoon which what can you say about zoo tycoon <laughs> right um, and obviously I do get you know games with gold if you have the physical version of State of Decay, it's actually worth about £20 worth of trading credit. And then obviously, oh that's Game Pass, sorry, and then EA Access. And here, I'm not going to talk about these games, I'm just going to go over them, just because we're hitting quite a far mark now. Um, these are the games that I have ready to install, or already may have played. So we have Adar, A King's Tale, Final Fantasy fifteen. World of Keflings, Adventure Pop, uh, Air Mech Arena, APB Reloaded, Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag, and Assassin's Creed Chronicles China. So I'm glad we're getting India, and I believe Russia is the other one. So that's why I'm not going to go out and buy the pack with all three on. Assassin's Creed 3. I enjoyed this game, but I got to a part. I'm, the only Assassin's Creed game I've completed is Assassin's Creed Brotherhood, which surprisingly is my favourite one. <laughs> Assault Heroes 2, uh, the battle games, Battle Ages, Battle Island, and Battle Island Commanders, free to play games, mobile style games. <laughs> Beyond Good and Evil HD, again, classic. Um, Call of Duty Ghosts. <laughs> Capcom Arcade Cabinet, Clicker Heroes, Chariot, Castle Storm Definitive Edition, Castle of Illusion, starring Mickey Mouse, remake of a classic, Crimson Dragon, Crimson Dragon, 
Dark Dreams Don't Die, Deus Ex Human Revolution, Defense Grid, Deadfall Adventures, very generic, uh, DC Universe Online, Dirt 3, Dead Rising 2K0, Dungeon Defenders 2, Dungeon Siege 3, Forza Horizon, Far Cry 3 Blood Dragon, which I still want to play because I hear it's a very good game, Fallout 3, Fable 3, which was my favourite Fable game, like the second one, I think the second one's better, this one's worth having because it's co-op. Uh, Forza Horizon 2 presents Fast and Furious, which is basically a standalone DLC. Frozen 3 for Snowball Fight, <laughs> why not? Uh, Gears of War 1, 2, Judgment and Ultimate Edition. Gems of War, which I believe is sort of like a puzzle quest. Gigantic, which is uh, another sort of um, MOBA. Halo 3, Guardian Heroes. <laughs> Grid 2, Halo Spartan Assault, but that's the 360 version. Hand of Fate, Happy Dungeons and Happy Wars, How to Survive Storm Warning Edition, Hitman, which I believe is only the first episode, Orkin, Haunted House, I Am Alive, not that good, <laughs> Iron Brigade, Just Cause 2, Kane and Lynch 2 Dog Days with the very bad camera work, <laughs> Lovers in a Dangerous Space Time, which <laughs> looks terrible, but I hear it's a pretty fun game, but kind of hard, Lords of the Fallen, it's a Dark Souls clone and I didn't like it, uh, Lego Pirates of the Caribbean, Killer Instinct, Magic 2013, Magic Jewels. I don't know anything about Magic the Gathering. Hard game. Maybe if I learn how to play it, I could probably enjoy these games a little bit more. Mass Effect Andromeda. Um, I'm going to admit I haven't played any other Mass Effect game other than about two hours of the first game. Massive Chalice. Murdered Soul Suspect, which is kind of an interesting game. The Monkey Island games, one and two. Might and Magic of Clash of Heroes, MX vs ATV Reflex, Onigiri which is terrible, Peggle, Pimble Arcade and Pimble FX2, Plants vs Zombies, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that word, I could say Unumia, Breath of Life, um, I believe it's like a um, portal sign of thing, Paul Nate and pure pool. I like playing pool in real life. The games, mm, not so much. Raiders of the Broken Planet, Eternal something. Another free to play. Rayman Origins, very similar to Legends. Resident Evil 5. Resident Evil Revelations 2. Runbo. Sacred 3. Sniper Elite V2, some of these games that are coming up because my mate obviously had them, that's backwards in battle. Smite, Sherlock Holmes, Crimes and Punishment, Saints Row the Third, which is the only Saints Row game other than Get Out of Hell that I have to do co-op. So Many Me, Sonic CD, Spelunky, Star Trek Online, Super Dungeon Bros, Six Master of Shadows, Dern Pinball Arcade, yeah I love my pinball, State of Decay Year 1, really looking for the second one, Super Meat Boy, Tales from the Borderlands, that's episode 1 but I do have the uh, full game, Rainbow Six Vegas, Tekken Tag Tournament 2, Legend of Korra, The Escapists, The Dear God, The Cave, and then here's the rest of the Walking De Dead games, The Walking Dead, Walking Dead A New Frontier, McCrone Into Deep, Season 2, that's the 360 version, uh, the complete first season, which is the Xbox One version, most of these games are my mates, just because I don't really, I have to play them. Uh, then we have The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt, which I need to reinstall because this game is sick. 
Fourth Among Us, Thief, Tron Evolution, Toy Soldiers Cold War, Tomb Raider Definitive Edition, and the new Tomb Raider movie actually looks somewhat decent. Uh, Valiant Hearts The Great War, Volgar the Viking, very hard game. Watch Dogs, World of Tanks, Zeros, XCOM, WWE 2K16, World of Van Helsing, Death Trap, and Zombie and Zombie Trilogy. So, there we go. Those are all of my Xbox One titles that I have. So, I've got 293 games that I own, well, that I've got ready to play, well, I can play, and then obviously the Game Pass has a good 100 plus games on there, and EA Access has again plus 50 plus games on there. So I have nearly 500 games that I can play on my Xbox. Now, I don't know. I don't know what I want to play today. <laughs> Uh, whatever I'll, I'll find something to play I'm sure so I hope you guys enjoyed this video um, if there's anything in this list that you want me to play um, or talk more about then let me know in the comments below um, I'm always open to try and playing games for you guys and of course guys if you feel free to leave a like if you enjoyed the video and of course feel free to um comment below as well and of course subscribe if you haven't already and join the family and of course have a nice day and I